Hello students! In today's MWET lesson, we will focus on your reading skills. Reading is an essential skill. And if you are a good reader, you will definitely do well in all other skills. As the more you read, the more you know. Not only that, there is a popular quote that says, Reading is to the mind what exercise is to the body. Let's explore the topic on career choice. Who are the people shown in the picture here? They are well-known people in the technology industry. The first is none other than Bill Gates, founder and CEO of Microsoft. The second person is the late Steve Jobs, who founded Macintosh or Apple Incorporated. And the last person is Mark Zuckerberg, who found Facebook. All three of them have one common similarity. Can you guess what it is? Maybe after you read the passages, you will be able to guess it. Paper 3 of the MUET examination is the reading section. There are seven parts to this paper, but in today's class, we will focus on part four. In this part, there are two reading texts, whereby you will be given two multiple choice questions based on text one, two multiple choice questions based on text two, and finally, another two multiple choice questions comparing the two texts with three options each. The focus skills in part four of the reading paper include understanding the main idea and supporting details and gist, understanding text organization features, deducing meaning from context, distinguishing facts and opinions, interpreting text for author's intention, attitudes and style, comparing and evaluating information in different texts to get the gist or the main idea of a passage. Scheming can help you get a general idea of the text. Scheming involves selective reading of the most important sections of the text very quickly. Steps to scheme for the gist or the main idea include Read the title, subtitles and subheadings. Read the first and the last sentence of every paragraph. Read quickly and look for keywords. Do not read every single word. If there are multiple texts about the same topic or theme, keep an eye out for similarities and differences. Ask WH questions to help you scheme. What is the passage about? What are the main similarities or differences between both passages. Where is, for example, Texas situated? What are, for example, two areas badly affected by the earthquake? Questions on comparing and evaluating information in different texts may be which of the following is true of both the texts? The two texts 
suggests that dot 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 requires dot 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 ways to compare different texts. Check the similarities and differences between the two texts. You may do a double bubble map like this. Pay attention to the vocabulary, imagery, sentence length and complexity, paragraph length, structuring of ideas and rhetorical devices used in the text. One text may achieve its purpose more effectively than the other. Students, you need to determine the similarities and differences of the text. They might agree and or disagree on one or several aspects of a topic. Pay attention to the claim, facts and opinions presented in the text. By comparing them, it is possible to determine the reliability of the writers and distinguish facts from opinions. We are now going to read two articles about Bill Gates. Answer questions 1 and 2 based on Article 1. Article 1. the answers of the reading comprehension questions. Question 1. What do we learn about the writer's impression of Bill Gates? A. He is amazed by his success. Or B. He is disappointed that he dropped out of Harvard. Or C. He is impressed that one can achieve success through hard work. The answer could be A or C. It's definitely not B. So we can eliminate B. The writer is not disappointed at all. So let's compare A and C. The writer mentioned about hard work as a way to achieve success twice. First in line 4, paragraph 1. And the second time is in line 37, paragraph 3. Thus, answer C is more appropriate. Therefore, the answer is C. Question 2. How are the contents of this article organised? Here, we look at A. History of the software company, followed by family background and early life followed by vision and charitable efforts 
or B, family background and early life, followed by history of software company, followed by vision, and lastly, charitable efforts, or C, vision first, followed by family background and early life, followed by history of software company, and lastly, charitable efforts. In this question, candidates need to summarize each paragraph. The first paragraph is about Bill Gates' family background and early life. The second paragraph is mainly about the history of the software company that was set up by Bill Gates and his friend. The third paragraph mentions his vision for Microsoft, while the final paragraph touches on his charitable efforts. Thus, the answer to question 2 is B. Now, students, answer question 3 and 4 based on Article 2. Let's look at Article 2 first. Question 3. Why does the writer include information about Gates' signature look? A. Is it to highlight that he is very intelligent? Or B. To indicate that he is a well-known figure? Or is it C. To illustrate his contribution as a philanthropist? For Article 2, the writer starts out mentioning Bill Gates' signature look. Then, the writer goes on to mention that Gates has become one of the world's most recognised faces. Thus, the only correct answer that corresponds to that explanation is B. The other answers are merely distractors. Look at question 4. What do we learn about Bill Gates' main work? A. His main work is to ensure every home has a desktop. Or B. His main work is to focus on his charity work. Or is it C. His main work is as a technology advisor in Microsoft. In line 16 to 17, the writer mentions that these days, Bill focuses most of his time on the work he and Melinda are doing through their foundation. Bill Gates has left his daily job and thus his focus is on his charity work and the foundation that he and his wife set up to help people. So the answer is B. Number five. Which of the following is true of both articles? Is it A. Both articles mention about his wife Melinda Gates? Or is it B. Both articles mention his Microsoft vision? Or is it C. Both articles state that Bill Gates served as a technology advisor? For this question, 
candidates should look for evidences from both the texts. For option A, only Article 2 mentioned about his wife, Melinda. It is found in line 11. Both articles mention Microsoft's vision. In Article 1, it is stated in line 34, while in Article 2, it is stated in line 8. As for Gates' role as a technology advisor, it is only mentioned in Article 2, line 16. Thus, the answer for question 5 is B. That is the only statement that is mentioned in both the articles. Question 6. The two articles suggest that in order to be a successful person, one needs to be A. A university dropout, B. Hardworking, or C. Technology enthusiast. Let's use the elimination strategy to answer this question. There are successful people who were dropouts, but there are also dropouts who are not successful. Thus, option A is not accurate. One needs not be a technology enthusiast in order to be successful either. Thus, option C is also ruled out. The only option that is correct is option B. One definitely needs to be hardworking in order to be successful and it is mentioned in lines 4, paragraph 1 and lines 35 to 36 in paragraph 3 of article 1. In article 2, it is mentioned in lines 8 to 9. Now, Let's read another two articles, but this time about Mark Zuckerberg. Answer questions 1 and 2 based on Article 1. Question 1. What do we learn about the writer's impression of Mark Zuckerberg? A. He is impressed by his rise to success. B. He is weary of his security measures for Facebook. C. 
He is proud of his popularity. Question 2. How are the contents of this article organized? A. Early life and education, followed by success story, net worth and current influence, or B. Success story, followed by early life and education, followed by net worth and current influence, or C. Current influence followed by net worth, followed by success story and early life and education. Next, answer questions 3 and 4 based on Article 2. Question 3. Why does the writer include information about the three fellow students? A. They were his close friends. B. Their request was pertinent to the setting up of the social networking sites. Or is it C. They helped him set up Facebook? Question 4. What do we learn about Mark Zuckerberg's main work. A. He was a child prodigy. B. His success came about through his upbringing. Or C. He is not only innovative, but he also has good business sense. Answer questions 5 and 6 based on Articles 1 and Article 2. Question 5. Which of the following is true of both articles? A. He was a college dropout. B. He helped his fellow friends to design a college social networking site. Or C. He pledged to give away 99% of his net worth during his lifetime. Question 6. The two articles suggest that in order to be a successful person, one needs to be A. A child prodigy B. Hardworking and never give up or C. Innovative and business-minded Let's discuss the answers of the reading comprehension questions. Are you ready? Question 1. What do we learn about the writer's impression of Mark Zuckerberg? A. He is impressed by his rise to success. B. He is wary of his security measures for Facebook. C. He is proud of his popularity. The answer is A. Although the writer did mention about Facebook's security issues, it's not the main point of his writing. 
and answer C is irrelevant as Mark is not an entertainer but an innovator. Look at question 2. How are the contents of this article organised? A. Early life and education followed by success story followed by net worth and current influence? Or is it B. Success story followed by early life and education followed by net worth and current influence? Or is it C. Current influence followed by net worth and success story and lastly early life and education. Now, students, paragraph 1 talks about his early life and education. Next, it is explaining about how he attained success followed by his net worth. The last paragraph talks about his current influence. Thus, answer A is the correct answer. Question 3. Why does the writer include information about the three fellow students? A. They were his close friends or B. Their request was pertinent to the setting up of the social networking sites or is it C. They helped him to set up Facebook? The answer is B. As the idea of setting up a social networking site must have popped up when they asked him to help them. Thus, their request was pertinent to Mark's success and it is an important part of his success story. Question 4. What do we learn about Mark Zuckerberg's main work? A. He was a child prodigy or is it B. His success came about through his upbringing? Or is it C? He is not only innovative, but he also has good business sense. Students, the answer is C. This is because Mark was innovative in setting up Facebook and he also had a good business sense to make it a profitable venture. Question 5. Which of the following is true of both articles? A. He was a college dropout or B. He helped his fellow friends to design a college social networking site or is it C. He pledged to give away 99% of his net worth during his lifetime? The only answer A is relevant for both the articles as both articles mentioned that he was a college dropout. And lastly, question 6. The two articles suggest that in order to be a successful person, one needs to be A. A child prodigy or B. Hardworking and never give up or C innovative and business-minded. In order to be successful, one needs to be innovative and business-minded. So, the answer is C. Do remember that in order to answer part 4 of the reading comprehension test, you need to be able to make connections between the two passages only for the last two questions. Finally, do remember that part 4 of the reading comprehension test can be quite tricky. Therefore, bear in mind the strategies I have covered in this topic. Happy learning and stay safe students! Bye!